Hello, everyone. We are CareerWise Greater Buffalo, a Say Yes initiative. And we thank you for joining us today for our Youth Apprenticeship Virtual Employer Tour featuring m and Bank. This is the first of three virtual events that we will host to allow students interested in the Youth Apprenticeship Initiative the opportunity to get familiar with the different career opportunities available to them and to allow the employers the opportunity to join in on the conversation, to be thoughtful partners as we seek to have a collective impact. Today, you will learn more about the Information Technology Apprenticeship. Meet with MNT employees, Lori Brewer, Ryan Holston, Nadine Powell, Jasana Gadley, and Michelle Marie Grant to hear more about the jobs that MNT has to offer. There will also be time to ask questions after we hear from MT Bank. My name is Aaron Jackson, and I am career coach with Burgard High School and McKinley High School. Hi, everybody. My name is Jennifer Lake, and I am a career coach at South Park High School in Hutch Tech. Hi, everybody. My name is Shara Armpreser, and I'm your career coach at Riverside and MST High School. At the conclusion of today's events, we will have a drawing for a $50 raffle. In order to be included in the raffle, you have to tune in for the whole event to the very end. Today's featured employer is MNT Bank. MNT Bank is headquartered in Buffalo, New York, and operates 780 branches throughout New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Delaware, Virginia, West Virginia, Washington, D.C., and Connecticut. MNT Bank has over 18,000 employees and is an organization with one clear purpose, to make a difference in people's lives. MNT Bank has partnered with our Youth Apprenticeship Initiative to provide positions for 10 to 15 youth apprenticeship apprentices in both IT and business operations. As I stated earlier, today we will focus on the IT apprenticeships. So without further ado, I will now turn it over to MNT Bank. Thank you very much, Aaron. I really appreciate it. Um, just to go through a, a few introductions, my name is Ryan Holston. I am uh, part of the Next Gen Talent Team for m and Bank and work with many of the talent programs. Uh, Laurie Brewer is my amazing manager and I'll let her introduce herself. Nice, thank you, Ryan. That's a nice intro. Hello everyone, I'm Laurie Brewer. It's very nice to see everyone. Um, we're really excited to, to talk with you today about this opportunity, tell you a lot more about m and Tech. My team has a responsibility for some of the key campus um, and other programs that are really just designed to bring talent into our organization uh, and create the best possible experience for you. So I will turn it over to Nadine Powell. Nadine, you're on mute. You're on mute, Nadine. <laughs> Double mute? Can you guys hear me okay? Yes. Oh, the dreaded double mute. So Nadine Powell with m and Tech. I have the opportunity to run Tech Academy here on the 23rd floor of m and Tech Hub at Seneca One. I am joined today by Dasana Gadley, who runs Point on Community Engagement for Tech Academy. So I will turn it over uh, to her because she is our POC on this event. We are so excited to be here with, with all of you um, and look forward to meeting you in the coming weeks and months. Dasana? Yes, hi everyone. Um, my name is Dasana Gadley. Like many of you, I am a Say Yes Scholar. And um, I am here with Tech Academy where I support our community facing programs. And so initiatives like this, bringing you all into the tech hub and learning about all that we have to offer and awesome opportunities that are available in the tech industry are part of the things that I help to oversee. And so I will kick it back to Ryan unless we have more introductions. We do have more introductions, but I will save those for the end as they are all part of our wonderful uh, M&T Tech uh, talent panelists. So you'll have an opportunity to engage with each one of them and they will have the opportunity to share uh, more with you about who they are and what they do. Uh, but at this time, I'm going to share with you a, a presentation that we've put together for you. Okay. 
Let's see if I can. Oops. All right. So we are m and Tech. Is first everybody able to see my screen? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I don't think you're presenting though, Ryan. Yeah, this uh, the toolbar here is kind of in my way. We even have tech challenges in technology. It's the way it works. <laughs> <laughs> even we can't figure pull it out. Uh, pull down the, the bar from the top, like top left, uh, and drag yeah. it down in the percent. Drag the bar down from the top left? Yeah, like any point that you're not clicking on something. Um, maybe try to not full screen the, the PowerPoint first. I'm going to do this first. Give me one quick second. All right. It or not, we tested this before we joined. So what's the fun part of technology? It works when you when you don't need it to, and it doesn't work when you need it. This happens to me literally multiple times a day. So <laughs> me too. All right. Yeah, this the my sharing screen on the uh, won't move so I can share it. If you start presenting the slides, will that help? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll go through it here. Um, so again, we are MNT Tech, and uh, currently we are uh, amidst our technology transformation, our technology journey, uh, focused on three major aspects. Um, so the the first few slides we're going to go through are um, three focuses as we go through our transformation journey. One being our agile methodology. Second, our foundation, and third, our talent. Um, so first, with Agile, what is Agile is the main question. And it's the process to promote a sustainable development and early delivery of projects through two-week segments that we call sprints, uh, delivering viable work models to market until all the project is complete while continuously improving and maintaining that project. Um, so we, we meet with our business partners, uh, we understand what their requests are, and we start with minimal viable projects that we can get out to our customers to immediately impact their experience while continuously improving that model um, and maintaining that bot model so that it's always working effectively. Second is our foundation, which is the reliability of our technology, and it's changed. The tools we, uh, we use are more streamlined, they're modern and consistent, allowing us to build on a stable foundation and enabling our transformation journey. And our focus on uh, talent. Uh, becoming a future-ready, high-performing technology workforce requires changes in the way that we source our manage and manage our talent. From expanding our traditional source models to finding the right talent at the right time to internally developed, develop and invest in how we continue to expand the skills and evaluate performance of our existing team members. So we are continuously placing rigor and continuous improvement on our talent models. So some uh, very exciting things happening in Buffalo. As many of you know, we have opened our new tech hub called Seneca One, uh, making a huge impact on our communities uh, around us and uh, you know, making a significant addition to the uh, emerging ecosystem in Buffalo. Um, it's a place where technologists, customer experience engineers, data scientists, coders, programmers, uh, can all come together and through collisions and ideations come up with some amazing things that take place every day. So I'm going to share with you a, a video that we published on Seneca One that give you more of a real experience of what it's like inside. This feels pretty amazing. Buffalo's on the map. This is a place where great talent can do great things. 
Buffalo, Seneca One, and the T Tech Hub are all on our way to be the top of minds when it comes to tech in cities outside of those on the coast. Essentially, the way to think of the Tech Hub is it's a beacon. It, it sends a message uh, and, and a sense of place that is inviting uh, talent to come and collaborate and innovate and solve problems. This corridor has to be able to support more than just us and, and more than just professionals. It has to be a livable, walkable, eat, work, play, collaborate uh, kind of place. You know, what we intend to do is open this up to the community, run immersive boot camps for community members who may have never thought of themselves as technologists, never thought of a career in tech, with an eye towards um, really looking to serve those community members who've been historically underrepresented in tech. So much of our city and our region is diverse um, and really tapping into those networks, really making them see that technology is a space for them. So offering the tools for people to get into, you know, to get the right training. If we don't take this time to very deliberately go out and seek out the kind of diversity uh, and, the, and the kind of expansiveness of, of experiences, we will have missed quite possibly the biggest opportunity that m and has ever had. Buffalo's never had a talent problem when they've intentionally gone after certain sectors. Uh, in technology, that has uh, come a little later than in other American cities of our size. We have a little bit of catching up to do. The Tech Academy is an absolutely essential part of the Tech Hub. What we're trying to build here is essentially a learning engine that's going to contribute in a really meaningful way. We're going to have a bunch of M&T technologists constantly upskilling, constantly sharpening their skills. We're going to have other professional technologists from other places in the same classrooms learning with our technologists. The technology development program is designed for recent college graduates like myself. Um, who are just trying to find where they belong in the technology world. If you think about the whole talent profile and how rich and diverse it needs to be, students that are currently being trained in universities and, and coming out are an important part of, of that, and it's an important part of our program. I think this building will be very important because we are going to do a lot of learning here and we'll be able to collaborate and learn from each other. The m and Tech Hub is about creating a space that brings not just people from M&T, but people from the community at large to a single place where they can put their minds together to figure out how to build the future for this city. We like the idea of there being you know, other tenants with lots of different capabilities in our same complex. It'll be better for all of us to have that flow between the various companies. This space overall in the community represents an inclusion. You won't see uh, cubicles with walls up. The way that we act in here is the way that we extend out into our communities overall. It's an amazing, an amazing space. I can't wait till you guys can see it. It all blew my mind, honestly. Um, it is designed exceptionally. Seeing this space made me very excited to be back in the office and get to work with my coworkers in person and be able to uh, talk in person and collaborate. m and Tech was designed to enhance the agile workflow, whether it's from a whiteboard and people huddled around. We're continually sharing information and continually growing in that space. Very hip, very cool. Makes me want to work here, although I don't know how to work that stuff. How many shuffleboard tables? There's only one shuffleboard table, but we'll probably make some room for another one. We're, we're, we do have bubble hockey, which is uh, new to me, frankly. The Tech Hub is going to play a, a huge role in us continuing our evolution as a, as a relevant technology ecosystem, but it really has to only be the start. It's going to be up to other companies, to universities, to other constituents and stakeholders to level up their game as well. This is inspiration. This is incredible, incredible work, and it's going to be interesting to see as a community how we springboard off this opening. What m and will model here in Buffalo will become an example for the entire nation. The m and Tech Hub is a game changer for the city of Buffalo. If I was to ever envision a perfect situation and took a blank canvas and drew something, I could not draw anything nicer than what we have here today. And m and commitment to open up a Tech Hub in downtown Buffalo at Seneca One is indeed the highlight of my entire career. All right. Before we get into the other sides, I'm going to take a, a little break. Are there any questions from, from any of the students on the call today? I 
Right. And at any point, please take yourselves off a of mute and jump in with questions or thoughts that you have. Uh, but we'll get into what is information technology. Um, so it's the use of computers uh, and specialized software to create, process, store, retrieve, and exchange electronic data and information. Um, but what does that mean to M&T Tech? It is where we um, are able to develop and maintain uh, configurations of software facilitating a stable infrastructure to provide constant, reliable services to our internal and external customers. Um, so it enables our business partners to become more efficient and effective in what they do every single day for all of our customers and clients. And it creates products that deliver value to our customers and employees. And our employees are also, uh, from a technology side, one of our main um, customers because uh, we are able to keep up all the software and hardwares that they use on a daily basis. So the technology apprenticeship program, what is it and, and how is it going to be best used for you, the students? Um, so your experience is 100% our main objective. Um, we want to bring you in and give you access to all sorts of support, mentorship, um, senior leader speaker series, where you get to hear from some of our, our major CEOs, uh, the ones that are leading our transformational journey, the ones that are our talent sponsors, and the ones that care so much about our future and sustaining it. Um, you'll be aligned to a technical team manager who will be there to support your success and your career all along the way. Um, you'll have targeted technical training. Um, so what technologies are coming up? What are being used now? Where do you need to upskill and grow? And, and all of those tools and trainings are there provided for you. Career coaching. So you'll have access to software engineer ones, twos, threes on your team that you can always ask for advice and mentorship, including uh, being paired up with one of our own technology development program members uh, who you'll be speaking to on the line. We also have ZDPs and interns. Uh, we have two interns that have decided to come back and join us as TDPs. So uh, you'll be able to engage in them on a more regular basis in the program, and they'll be there to help be mentors and support systems for you. Uh, networking, very, very important to grow. Uh, as many of you might have um, heard, you know, or used, you know, the platform LinkedIn to create a professional network. Well, we want you to create a professional network within M&T Tech and M&T, uh, the bank as a whole. Uh, community engagement and their social impact. And we'll get into a few slides later on that I'll expand on that. And then we very much care about a 360 degree program feedback. Um, so I myself as one of the talent ad advisors, I care very much about the experience of both our managers um, who, are, who are having you join their teams as well as the members of our talent programs themselves. How can I better uh, serve you from a leadership position? Um, what is your experience and how can we quickly pivot to make it better? So your feedback and your candid responses, your honest responses are very important to us all. Being student focused, um, you know, we're building our future now. We see that the, there's a, a new age of technology coming and as young professionals, you have such brilliant ideas that you can share. Um, so, one of our tech managers and I were having a conversation. He used the word bi-directional value. And so he said that the young professionals are bringing such great technological ideas to us, but then the, the senior level engineers get to provide such a, um, a, a grand amount of banking and, and uh, financial services knowledge back to them. So it's this ever growing uh, relationship uh, of uh, both the old and the new. And, and so we're building our future now and creating programs, uh, both traditional and non-traditional pipelines to bring that talent into our organization. m and Bank has earned top marks in 2021 for best, best places to work. Um, you know, we're gonna go into, you know, diversity and inclusion and what that means to us, you know, having every single one of our employees being their true unique selves. So with that, um, one of our, our main um, treasures are our 14 employee resource groups. And what are resource groups? 
Uh, they are voluntary employee-led groups organized around a particular shared interest or characteristic, such as race, ethnicity, gender, age, disability, family status, sexual orientation, or nationality. MT's mission is to build inclusivity and equity by driving core values in the lives of its employees, customers, and to elevate the communities we serve. And so we, we do a lot of events through the year, such as roundtables, pride panel discussions, ambassador showcases uh, around the globe events that will showcase all of our resource groups and invite anybody who is interested um, to these events. Not only internally, but we have several external uh, partners that help us grow our diversity, inclusion, and belongings. And here's a, a short list of some of our, our partnerships. As employees, we all have um, a responsibility for the community and social impact. Um, these events are some of the events that our TDPs took part in. Um, just to show you that there are, you, you will join a larger cohort um, and be able to make a larger impact on the community around us in Buffalo. Um, so our talent programs can join each other and go out and make a huge difference, including park cleanups, um, you know, the clothing drives. I think one of the coolest things was they went and built beds, uh, beds for Buffalo. So they went in and were able to build, I think they were uh, twin size beds for different communities. Um, groups. But at this time, I wanted to, to make sure there's plenty of time here at the end um, for you, the students, to engage with some of the members of our talent programs to truly dive in and, and learn more about their experience and their journey in technology, um, to ask them what they've been through and what they see in the future for themselves. So at this point, I'm going to turn it over to the panel discussion. I'm going to ask that um, you as the students, please jump in, ask questions, take yourselves off of mute. I know some of my team members will be keeping an eye on the chat jumping in. So if you're more comfortable using the chat function, please do so. Uh, but we're going to kick it off and I'm going to let these six wonderful individuals introduce themselves, starting with Marwan. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Marwan Adlani. Um, I was an intern with m and in 2019, and now I am back as a TDP for 2021. Um, I've been having a really good time with the bank so far. It's been like eight months, I think, of full-time work. Um, really enjoying my team. Still the same amount of support as when I was an intern, as when I'm full-time. Um, from Delaware, so I'm one of the, the couple people who's in Wilmington, Delaware, as the TDP. Um, really been enjoying the job so far. And if you guys have any questions, please uh, feel free to reach out. All right, move on to Anna. Great. Thank you, Ryan. Um, hi, I'm Anna Chacha. I am a 2020 TDP, so I'm in my second year in the technology development program. Um, I graduated from Fredonia with a degree in mathematics and computer science back in 2020, um, and then got the job here as a TDP, which has been a great experience so far, especially coming right out of college um, to be in a program with other recent college graduates. Um, gives you kind of that sense of um, friendship and like relationships that you'd want with fellow co-workers, with people your age with similar interests. Um, and I've gotten to work on some cool projects on different teams to kind of test out what areas of technologies I'd want to work full time in. Um, some of those projects include uh, developing SQL databases, um, creating reports in Power BI, um, working on their tabular models and analysis services, and some backend C Sharp development too. So it's been a great experience. I guess that's what I got so far. So if anyone has any questions, go ahead, or we can pass it on. <laughs> Anna, thank you. Yeah. yeah. We'll go right over to Daniel. Awesome, thanks. Hey guys, uh, my name's Daniel. I started at the bank in the summer of 2021 as an intern and I'm still here and going to start full time in a few months. So I graduated from the University of Maryland uh, a few months ago, so I'm super excited to come in full time. And I've been with the peer to peer payment slash Zelle team. So I don't know if any of you guys have ever used Zelle, but that's what I work on. And it's been super cool. I get a full range of experience. I work with front-end tools like React. I work with back-end tools uh, like Java and Spring Boot. And uh, I feel like my team just supports me, lets me play around, lets me try out new things. When I mess up, they're there to catch me. 
so yeah, it's been a wonderful experience overall. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. All right, Daniel, thank you. Jamie, moving on to you. Hi everyone, I'm Jamie, and I have kind of a similar story to Daniel. I was a intern last summer, um, and I'm staying on part time, and then I'll be joining the 2022 TDP program uh, shortly. And I work. Or first of all, I graduated from RIT a couple of months ago, um, and then the team that I'm working on now, I'm working on a dashboard uh, where I use like SQL. Um, most of the code is done in like Python to actually make the dashboard. Um, originally it was in RStudio, so I had that opportunity to learn that technology. Um, and I would say the support goes all around um, throughout the teams and the people I've networked with. And there's lots of opportunities to learn things and have support from people. Um, so that's it for me. Any questions, just let me know. Awesome. River? Hi, I'm River Manning. Um, I am currently a technology apprentice. And uh, when I finish the program, I should be a mainframe systems programmer. I am finishing up my first year of the apprenticeship soon. And um, I get to work on projects using coding to uh, do maintenance as well as um, do updates and installs of different products onto the mainframe. If you have any awesome. questions, feel free to let me know. Thanks, River. And Jade. Hello. Um, so my name is Jade Walker. Um, like River, I am also in the ZDP program, cohort two. Um, just started, um, I think in, well, yeah, in December. So it's been all of um, two months almost going on three, um, and um, I feel like I'm at home, which is great. Um, so we work um, on my teams, we um, work on IBM Z are also called mainframes. Um, and uh, I don't know, I guess I would say if I could describe my experience um, so far with two words, it would probably be um, progress and progressive. Um, I feel like you have a group of people always surrounding you that you know, is pushing you forward um, and making sure that you are um, just at your best. And then um, progressive, um, I think you can kind of see, like um, Ryan showed us the tech hub, you can kind of see all of the progressive things that are going on there. Um, and I think just the continuing learning opportunities that MNT um, provides, um, there's just always new things going on, so. Awesome. Thank you very much, Jade. Um, so before I go into maybe some of my questions for you all, I want to open it up to the students and participants here with us today. Um, you are the ones that are important. Uh, you are the ones that we are here for. So please take yourselves off of mute and ask any questions that you may have. Um, please use the chat function also. Uh, my team members will, will help me keep an eye on that. All right, well then I'm gonna start into some questions. So Marwan, I'm gonna start with you. So as a, as a young technologist, when you decided that this was going to be your career path, what was that moment and, and what sparked your ideations around wanting to become um, a technologist? So I think that I kind of share a similar experience with a lot of, uh, a lot of people in college not really knowing what path they wanna take post-graduation. Um, I had no clue what sort of team I wanted to work on. Right? Like I didn't know if I wanted to work databases with front end, back end. Um, and so I decided the TDP program would be a really good fit for me because I'd be able to get experience with all of those different fields without kind of feeling locked down into, into one position. Um, so when I heard about the rotational program where I have like my first year on one team and then my second team, my second, second year on another team, um, I knew that I'd kind of be able to find my place in the bank and see what stuff I'm actually interested in. Um, I've had been having a really good first rotation so far, but I also learned a lot of the stuff that I disliked. Um, so like technologies that I not, not don't necessarily want to use. Um, and I've also learned about a lot of stuff that I do enjoy. Um, so I kind of have like solidified my, my experience and decided where I want to take my career from now on. Um, 
but I still have another rotation to kind of decide if that is the right fit for me. Um, and so I think for me, just like having that flexibility to really explore like what your interests are and get experience with it, it was a long way for deciding where you want to end up in, the, in your future. Okay. Daniel, um, coming in and, and being kind of a, a new technologist in M&T Tech this past summer, what kind of support did you receive and how welcome did you feel joining M&T? Yeah, it's a great question. Uh, you know, I, I was a little nervous coming in because I didn't have any like real world experience. All, you know, I was just taking classes. That's all I'd done. And the support I received from my team was tremendous. They had a project for me to work on and they kind of just set me off, like plan out what you want to do. Here's here are a list of our requirements, but however you want to implement it, you can do it your way. Just check in with us, come to us when you need support. And every step of the way, when I need support, when I was stuck on something or running into a problem, they were there to support me throughout the entire journey. And now I get that same support now that I kind of work on more existing projects. So now I, I did, my team has a dashboard that I help maintain. My team has a big code base on the back end that I help maintain. And it's the same level of support anytime I need any help with anything. I'm stuck, I run into a problem. I can turn to them and they, they help me along. Awesome. Thank you much. And Jamie, I'll, I'll pass the same question on to you uh, as an intern choosing to come back and join us in the TDP program. Uh, what was your experience coming in last summer uh, as, a, as a student in a professional organization, you know, in the welcoming that you received and how did you feel on your technical team? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, so, I mean, not to compare to like other internships, um, but this internship was extremely special in the fact that like support is just everywhere. Um, coming in, um, part of the program was to have a TDP buddy. Um, and so they would set up meetings just to socialize, but they would also set up meetings just to like go over technologies to help acclimate into the company. Um, so that support was there as well as everybody on my team. Um, there was like daily meetings um, separate, like we have a stand-up meeting, but there was a separate meeting just for me and the group of interns to like go over if we have any challenges. Um, but basically I had a great time. They kind of gave us the project and kind of the scope of it. Um, and then I worked with a group of interns and we were able to like talk about how we wanted to do it. Our Am I the only one that lost Jamie? Jamie, I think you cut out there. Yeah, I can't hear I think we might have lost her. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm sure what she was going to say after that was brilliant, uh, as Jamie always is. Um, but we'll we'll move forward, um, and and we'll move into some questions for River and Jade about the ZDP program. Um, you've been in the program now for you know River coming up on your first year, and and Jade almost two years. What has the program been like to? What has the program been like for you, and what impact has it made in your decisions to move forward in your career? And uh, River, we'll we'll start with you. Um, can you repeat the question, please? I'm so sorry. <laughs> so no, just uh, in joining the ZDP program, uh, what impacts has the program and your technical team made in your uh, career decisions and the road that you'll take? Uh, that's a fantastic question. Um, I know that m and definitely feels like um, home for now. Uh, the team that I work with has been fantastic, very supportive. And um, I can, for the first time, say that I actually have a leader as a manager. Um, and I'm really looking forward to just growing with, the, with my career. Um, I haven't made any solid decisions yet. Um, but I'm sure I will grow. Awesome. And Jade? So same here. Um, I think, River, you kind of hit the nail on the head there where my manager as well, um, you know, he's a leader. And so, um, and I feel like, um, you know, I feel like I'm surrounded by leaders and people who take the initiative and people who are just pouring to help you. 
Um, so uh, the impact I think that my team has on me, um, and also uh, there are so many, um, like on my team, we're kind of divided into a distributed side and then also a mainframe side. So there's lots of opportunities to kind of cross train on other technologies. And that's something that's really important for um, career development. So that's, uh, you know, a huge impact on, you know, learning what technologies you want to land on um, or co really cross train in. That's what I really should say. Awesome. So I'm going to pause with my questions again, open it up to the floor to see if there are any uh, questions from any of our participants. Okay. So, hey, Ryan, just real quick, there's just something I, I, I want to say. Sure. Um, I know that this is a, just a ton of information um, and we're talking to individuals who are not even early in their career, they're still trying to define their career. So we, we completely understand that. Um, and I think the message, um, the, and there is a question in the chat, which we'll, we'll defer to in just a moment. Um, but I think the message is there, there are options, right? This is an opportunity. Um, we do have a fantastic support model a great structure um, to, to help you be successful in the program. Um, and I don't think you need to know it all. That's part of the benefit of this program. Uh, I actually like the idea that a lot of this will be new to you because you're gonna bring a fresh new perspective to how we look at things. And so <clears throat> I know it's overwhelming. It's, and, and we just, I just wanted to say that. So don't, we didn't expect a ton of questions today. We know there's a lot to absorb, but uh, just know the opportunity does present you um, with a with a really great support model um, uh, of folks uh, early in their career uh, to individuals who have 20 plus years of experience in technology. And so just having that diversity and knowledge um, of really allows for folks to be successful overall in our organization. So. I felt like I needed to say that, Ryan, because I know this is just a ton for folks to absorb. It is, absolutely. And we Thank do you have one in. we do have one question in the chat. Is there any requirements or qualifications for the programs? Laurie, did you want to jump in and take that? Uh, well, Would you like me to? <laughs> <laughs> Someone may need to, we may need to defer to Nadine. So I'll be honest with you, they were kind of on the front end of this. Um, so Nadine, I may need okay. you to jump in a little bit with what the expected requirements are around the program. Yeah, no problem. Happy happy to help here. And I think the, the Say Yes team um, can talk to this probably in depth. But when we think through um, this program, um, there are little to no requirements because it's important to us to have kind of limited what we call barriers to entry. So we are excited um, to welcome you all as high school as high school students that are interested in exploring um, careers in tech or what we call tech adjacent roles. So the program is around career exploration um, and so that you can spend some time seeing what it would be like to be a technologist in banking and fintech. Some other things that we talk about um, beyond kind of technical aptitude or background is really a level of curiosity and problem solving. Do you like to look at a problem and figure out a solution? Um, do you like puzzles? Uh, do you live for a crossword? All of these things are things that you've come across even early in your career, even as high schoolers, that could give you some early indicators um, if you would, A, be successful in the tech field, but most importantly, are you going to be passionate about the work you do and are you going to be fulfilled by the work? Because at the end of the day, um, that's really important. And we feel really strongly that there are roles at M&T Bank and M&T Tech that could do just that. But that's why we're so excited about the program. Um, you can get a jump start on exploring not only the industry, but some of these 
these roles and think about what success could look like for you um, as you finish high school and move into your post-secondary options, whether it be go right into a career or pursue um, other post-secondary education, like two or four-year degrees, um, or maybe an industry credential. So we're so excited uh, to be on that journey with you, um, and we're here to help you along the way. But there's no hard and fast list of bullet points of the things that you have to know, um, because we wanna, we wanna explore that with you together. So um, if you show up, you're excited to explore, you're curious, um, and, and you've got that continuous learning mindset, I think you'll be a great fit um, to be an M&T techer. Nadine, that was awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Nadine. <laughs> All right, so I'll open it up for any, um, any other questions. Um, I know that I'm right about at my time to turn it back to Aaron. Um, so if, if anybody has any other questions, please jump in. If you want to come off mute to ask a question, you can too. Okay. So at this time, um, we open the floor for questions. You can unmute if you are comfortable asking your questions or you can type it in chat. Okay, so we have another question. It says, so what would be the negatives or the cons for a technologist? So I guess they're asking the pros and cons of being a technologist. Ryan, I think we asked one of our TVPs or ZVPs to jump in here and answer this question. I think that's a great idea. Um, How about River? I thought you said TDP, not ZDP. <laughs> <laughs> or ZDP. So the or ZDP. We, yeah, so River, I don't know. What do, you, what do you think the pros and cons are of being a technologist? So far, I haven't found any cons um, other than just a little overwhelming to start. Um, but the list of pros far outweigh that for me. Um, I get to be in an industry that I enjoy and I get to keep learning new things every day. So it, it's definitely great for mental stimulation if that is something that you require. Some people require it and that's, it's pretty cool. Uh, to any of our questions. Thank you, River. Um, do any of our TDPs want to jump in about pros cons for being a technologist? Um, I think River just about covered it. I feel like there's more pros than cons, if anything. I guess the only con is I'm definitely more of um, an active person. So sometimes sitting here staring at my laptop all day can get a bit much and I just need to walk away sometimes and take a break and then come back to it. Um, but being like in these programs though, also give you a great opportunity that you don't have to be just strictly head down coding the whole day. Like there's TDP work to do and the program as well. And like social networking events to kind of get you talking. So you're not really just isolated and sitting there staring at your computer all day. So that's kind of one of the great things about these programs. Awesome, thanks Anna. And Daniel or Jamie, you want to hear from one more uh, side of this, the, the intern, the, the most recent of our students. Yeah, I was actually thinking one, uh, but I have a positive spin for it. But so one of my big things is like when you have like an issue or it's like one small line of code or I don't know, whatever the problem is, I hate those times because like I'll think about it at night, I'll think about it all the time. Um, and so it can be frustrating for me, um, but one of the positives um, and what I really commend m and programs for is that they do offer the support. Employees do make time to go over your problems and like help you push past that. Um, and then I agree with what everybody else was saying too. And then Daniel, I'm gonna to skip to this other question. What character traits do you think are vital to have for this job? I would say curiosity is a big one. And I think my experience with the internship was 
the more you put in, the more you're going to get out. So there was always, especially during the summer, different talks you could go to, different technologies to learn. So really just showing up and being curious and trying to learn as much as possible, you'll personally get the most out of it, I think. Awesome. Okay, our next question is, what character traits do you think is vital to have for this job? That was a great question. I guess I could uh, pop in this. Um, I think that it's really important to just be curious about technology and like have an interest in the field. Um, I know a lot of people who kind of got involved in computer science and or like programming and stuck with it for a bit and realized ultimately like this just wasn't for them. Um, and I think that's kind of one of the, the cons I think that I was thinking of earlier, right? Is just like, if it's not the field for you, you might not enjoy it as much as, as somebody else does, um, which is like totally valid, right? Like some things in life just don't go how you plan. Um, but I think that as long as you have like an interest and curiosity to keep learning that this is a, a solid field. Awesome. And to um, elaborate a little bit maybe, or, or to offer some other uh, characteristics open-mindedness maybe and innovation um, are some great traits. If you are you know, constantly thinking about how to improve different um, processes that you're currently going through, or if you have an open mind to, or I guess able to receive information and turn it into um, maybe something new or innovate. <laughs> create and um, you never know where you can go with it. I think that's a good point, River. I think collaboration is critical. Um, being comfortable working in a team, right? I think those are, are, are some of the, as I watch the, the TDPs and ZDPs kind of ramping up into their programs, um, that's some of the things that I notice, how quickly they're integrating with their team, how they're collaborating and in an agile environment, um, sharing your ideas, feeling comfortable, being candid, right? If it's not a fit, it's not a fit, but identifying some new ideas and bringing that to the table and feeling comfortable speaking up. I think those are some of the things that, that will help create the best experience. Do we have any further questions? I'll ask in the chat. Yeah, I like Shara's chat. This is your time to interview us. We like the tough questions. <laughs> You've asked some great questions already. So thank you to all of those participants who, who jumped in and engaged. Can we explain the agile environment in a few words? I think this would be awesome for uh, one of our our young one professionals. Of our, yes, one so of our Anna, Anna, agile process, agile methodology in just a couple words. I mean, few words is rarely in my criteria, so I'll try <laughs> my best. But um, I would say Agile development is more um, immediate uh, customer feedback and production and push it out and gets feedback back instead of spending months on end developing something out just for it to not end up being what the customer wants. Um, so kind of more working and in small incremented things to get deliverables back as soon as possible for our business end, I would say, or customers. Um, and so, yeah, we kind of work in small sprints. I actually, I'm starting to get beyond few words there. <laughs> I shouldn't get into the specifics, but basically I think that about covers it. I don't know if everyone else here thinks that about summed it up without getting into too much detail. Thank you um, for that. And then we had another question right before Daphne's, what is the starting pay rate? So I'm, I am going to tell you that we're still working through that with Comp. This is a net new program for us. 
Um, but as soon as we have that information and it is available, we will certainly be sharing that with our our partners uh, at Say Yes, and we will will be more open to sharing that information. But we don't want to put anything out there until everything is solidified internally. Okay, the next question. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead, Ryan. Yeah, I was just going to jump in on, on Anna's few words about Agile. I think the, the most important, one of the most important things for young professionals is the, um, the true commitment to the Agile methodology is make mistakes, make them often, grow from them, move on, and build from them. Um, so making mistakes is a part of this process. Um, so as young professionals, don't get caught up in doing everything perfectly. Uh, learn and, and move on. Uh, but we'll move into that next question, which is, how do you evolve so that you can keep the knowledge current? Um, and Lori came back and said the Tech Academy. So we have our own in-house Tech Academy, which Nadine is very um, immersed in. So if, Nadine, if you want to say a couple words about the Tech Academy. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Ryan. Um, so Tech Academy uh, has a few components to it, our mission, but um, how Tech Academy will show up in your lives um, if you choose to, to join m and Tech for this experience is we're responsible for investing in what we call internal upskilling. Um, and that's just a way to say the continuous learning resources that m and offers all m and technologists. So we have a mix of in-person courses. We have virtual instructor led courses. We have two tech education platforms where uh, all m and technologists, whether you're a youth apprenticeship um, participant, our tech interns, our TDBs, our ZDBs, up to our most senior um, technologists have access to thousands and thousands of hours of video content and sandboxes and workshops. Um, we also are really passionate about industry recognized credentialing and that are opportunities to do continuous education, get credit and then sit for certification exams. So we ensure that our technologists, even though they are full-time M&T techers, as we like to say, have an opportunity can, to continue to add to their tech stack, um, which is a fancy way of saying their skill set um, and the key competencies that they can put on their resume or their LinkedIn profile. And it's really important to us, um, no matter kind of how long you've be, been at m and Tech, to continue to foster that curiosity that I talked a little bit about. We have a learning philosophy. And the most important thing is that every day we try to learn something and we try to teach something. So it's a very collaborative environment. Um, and it's all about understanding that we'll never know everything. So we have to continuously invest in our own knowledge and invest in each other's knowledge. Um, and the fun part is we have a pretty cool floor dedicated to the Tech Academy here at Seneca One. You'll see Jasana sitting in our collab lab um, with our Tech Academy uh, branding right behind her. But we've got in-person classrooms and discussion rooms. We've got a collab lab and a cafe. Um, we're in between courses. We have our technologists um, and community members uh, kind of mixing and mingling. We do special events. We do lunch and learn. So our team um, kind of all day, every day ensures that uh, we hope you in the future and our other team members have an opportunity, even though their formal education may have stopped, um, that you can learn something each and every day. So that's something that we think is a little bit unique here at m and um, but it's something that we're really excited to tell you more about um, as this program continues to mature and in the future host you here at Seneca One so you can come up and see the Tech Academy for yourself in person. And Ryan, this will be our last question. What does a typical day look like in this role? Well, I think um, a typical day, as, as Lori said, we're, we're very new into the building of this. so. I think the typical day will be modeled very similarly to what a, a TDP's day looks like with their technical team. So I think, um, you know, Marwan, you know, you, you joined our program eight months ago. You're, you're fresh right, right out of school. So why don't you take this? What does your typical day look like? 
So I uh, pretty much I wake up morning, 8 to 9 a.m. I kind of catch up on whatever stories I was working on the day before. Um, every team has a different time for their stand-up, which is kind of just a, a quick call for everybody to update the team on the work that they've been doing. Um, 9 to 9.30, I have my stand-up call with my team. Pretty much just tell them the work that I did yesterday, the work that I'm planning on doing today, and like any blocks that I might have. Um, so if I need somebody's assistance on the team, kind of just like give them a run through like, hey, I might need to tap on your shoulder later today. Um, after that, a lot of it is just meetings that are either related to the TDP program or T, like meetings for my team. So like sometimes we'll have, uh, we'll have meetings that are called sprint planning, sprint review, and like all of the, the sprint retrospectives that we were hitting on earlier. Um, I actually don't have as many meetings, I think, as some under other, other people in the, uh, in the bank, which is kind of nice because that gives you some head down time to get my work done. Um, Pretty much the, the rest of the day just spent developing, talking to teammates, collaborating with anybody who I need to, to get their support from. Um, rinse and repeat, a lot of times we have like little cool activities or uh, meetings planned that are kind of involve us getting info on it and just talking about like us continuously learning. Um, so I also have a block scheduled on every Friday of just sitting down, learning about some more technology that I'm uh, interested in. Um, so it really is like a, I don't know if I would say it's a typical workflow, but it definitely is engaging. Um, I'm never bored doing my work. I don't have to do one thing for too long ever. Um, so I really appreciate having that flexibility. We thank you. We thank you for those questions and answers. And we appreciate you attending today. Um, we, we would like to take this time to thank you all for attending our Youth Apprenticeship Virtual Employer Tour featuring m and Bank. We appreciate m and Bank and thank their staff for making themselves available to speak with those of you who are interested in information technology. Our business operations virtual event will be on March 16th from 4.30 to 5.30 p.m. And it will include m and Bank, Rich Products, and Wegmans. So if you are interested in those companies, please make sure you enroll. Our advanced manufacturing virtual event will occur on March 30th from 4.30 to 5.30 p.m and it will consist of all the companies, Moog, Tesla, Carmack Medical Products. And again, if you are interested in advanced manufacturing, please make sure to enroll. Please don't hesitate to contact the career coach at your school should you have any questions or concerns. We are excited about the opportunities and you should be too. If you would like to enroll in our Youth Apprenticeship Say Yes initiative, please go to www careerwisegreaterbuffalo.org. If you look over in the chat, you will see the career coach contact information, website, and the registration link. i like to now turn it over to Mrs. Jennifer Ray for the raffle. Thank you. Hi, everybody. I am gonna do the raffle. Please let me know if your name is not on here. I will give you a second to let me know. But I have like triple check this, more than triple check this. So if it's not on here, then I don't know what to tell you. Um, okay, I'm gonna spin, going once, twice. Okay, I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> Wait, um, sorry, Jennifer. Somebody just said their name is it in there. Okay. Who is it? Um, Jeanette. Oh no, she's in there. We're in there. It's right there in yellow at the bottom. Bottom, yeah. Anybody else? Okay. All right. Spinning. Oh, I was on. Congratulations, Samaya. I hope I said your name properly. <laughs> um, I'm going to let Aaron close out, I guess, right? <laughs> All right. Okay, and again, we thank you all for joining us today for this virtual event. We look forward to you joining us for more March 16th, March 30th. We thank you, appreciate you, 
and we say thank you. Again, have a great evening and enjoy. Thank you, everyone. Thank, thank you, everyone. Bye. Thanks have a great you. night. Bye, all. Bye -bye. Thank you all. Thank you.